Hi family and welcome to this video. Are you ready to see this palette? This is the Pract palette with glitters in. But I really want to play with this palette because I think it's beautiful. I'm going to swatch it and I'm going to try it on my eyes. This one is so beautiful. It's like, it's not silver, but it's silver, it's white, it's green, it's blue, it's pink, it's orange. It has so many different shades in here. It looks so stunning. I really like this shade. But if you want to see me creating a very easy, fast makeup look with this palette and swatches, then please keep on watching. Okay, so let's watch all of these shades. I'm going to use all of my fingers. I really like Pract's eyeshadows. They are very, how can I say, they're very nice and pigmented, but not too pigmented. They're very easy to build up. And there is not much fallout in this palette. Less fallout or less powdery than the others. This pink looks stunning. There is some pigmentation. Let's swatch. I mean, the shades look nice. I hope they will be easy to blend. They look very nice. Let's try the glitters. It feels like they have um, wet texture to them, like gel. Let's watch this one first. And then this one. This one, oh wow. Beautiful. I, mean, I really, really like this sil silvery. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like magic, pure magic. I don't know. We'll see what I'm going to create today. I think I'm going to go in with this glitter because I really, really like this kind of gold, soft gold glitter. And I just washed my hair. I feel like this was a bad idea. I'm going to have glitters all over my hair tomorrow. Okay, so let's continue. I already set primed my eyes. I didn't set it. I want to go in with this shade here. It's not so powdery, but it looks very nice and soft and pink. I really like this shade. Then I'm going to go into, into the second shade, this one here and have that also in my crease with the same brush. This is Kaya brush number six. This one is kind of very pigmented, but they created like another shade together. They're, these palettes from Pract are very easy to work with and amazing for beginners, so beginner friendly. And I want to go in with this one, this brownish color, and I'm going to actually put it all over my eyelid. I really like this color. There is no fallout, just a little bit in the pan, but they are not very powdery. Not this palette though. I'm gonna work it a little bit in my crease. I want this to be a very easy makeup look. Oh, I like this, kind of looks nice. And then I'm going to go in with my finger and I'm going to use this glitter. I don't know if I should... No, I'm not going to use anything else. I think because this has like slip to it, it's not, it has like a wet texture to it a little bit. I think it's, it can go on the eye directly and stick there. Yes. And the fallout we are going to clean. You see, I use a brush instead because this is a little bit hard with a finger. I'm going to use a brush. I don't know which kind of brush this is. There's a say on it. 
the, like a flat brush. Let's see if we can. No, the glitter doesn't want to come on the brush. No, this is impossible with a brush. Let's go with the spinky. And this glitter sticks a lot. There is a fallout, but if you do this before you do the rest of the makeup, you'll be fine. But I kind of like how the glitter has a sticky base because it really sticks to the eye. So you don't have to use a glitter primer. I'm going to clean all this fallout and I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back to finish my uh, makeup look. Okay, so on my face I have Revolution, uh, the Revolution foundation. I have plucked eyelashes in uh, lavish. I have Smashbox contour palette all over my skin as a bronzer and my blush. But I have one of the highlighters from this Chic palette on, or two, I mix two shades. And I'm going to go back into pra this palette. I do have glitter all over my face, but I think you don't need to use the um, um, glitter primer, but if you really want to have no fallout, maybe you should use a glitter, pro glitter, glitter glue. <laughs> I'm going to go in this middle shade again and pop that under my lower lash line. I'm sorry, but I'm looking at my viewfinder because my camera is kind of messing with me and kind of stopped filming me in the middle of the video. Some of my videos I had to record again because my camera stopped for filming and I didn't realize that. I think this is enough. I really like it. But there is no lighter shade to use as a highlighter to pop under our eyebrows or in the corner here. But I want to shoot the clean brush and just kind of blend here a little bit. And then I'm going to go into my Smashbox palette and I'm going to take this shade here to work under the eyebrows. But I'm going to go into Shook palette and take this white highlighter. Oh, that one I want to go into this shade too, just a little bit. And I'm going to use Dreamy on the lips on ColourPop. This is the makeup look. I think it turned out beautifully. It's cruelty free palette. I really, really like it. I think the shades are beautiful. I do miss a very light shade to use as a, on the eyebrows, but I mean, you can create some amazing looks with the, this. Uh, it's affordable also. I do like it. I like to have it in, in my collection. And I don't use glitters a lot, but I love glitters. And I uh, can't use them. At work because that would look weird. I think this makeup look turned out beautifully. That's my opinion. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and like this video. And I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye!